And hey guys, welcome back to the channel, back with the Midwest Express. So tonight, we're going to cover the terms of use of driving with Walmart Spark. And we don't really pay a lot of attention to all these guidelines and terms and blah, blah, blah. But there has been an overwhelming amount of people that get deactivated from Walmart Spark. And the common thread of excuse that they always give is kind of covered by the terms of service. So we're going to go through that or the terms of use, I should say. So we're going to go through that tonight. And speaking of terms of service, now, if you've been driving for Spark for a while, you know that back in the day, they used to say terms of service against terms of service. Well, terms of service is typically refers to the rules and regulations one agree to. Terms of service often include sections of services provided, payment terms, termination, liability limitations, privacy policies, and copyright information. But the terms of use changes it up a little bit more and more commonly used to websites and refers to rules of the guidelines. So it just kind of says to have access to the app, you have to follow these terms of use. And I think with all of the the new policies with what is an independent contractor, they needed to really get away from the terms of service because that kind of gives you the guidelines of, hey, you're an employee. And that's why I believe Walmart uh, changed that up from terms of service to terms of use. But continuing on. So in this app, I, I got a question today where somebody was saying, you know, I said, well, I think the new terms of use is good and it, it could be bad too because there could be some pitfalls for drivers. And immediately the driver was like, what are you talking about? So I was like, all right, let me put together a quick video and kind of explain this to you guys. So, so provisions of service, and this is a little bit dry, guys, but it says that you may only use the Spark app in connection with your services for the Walmart's sole discretion through the app. You will not use or access the app for any other unauthorized purposes. You acknowledge that you, these terms governing the provisions of services are all covered in these terms of use. And uh, you are not authorized to subcontract your services. As the vetted Spark account holder, you are the only person authorized to provide services through the app, whether the service includes driving, shopping, customer interaction, or task. So somebody can't drive for you. Somebody can't shop for you. Somebody can't deal with the customers. Nobody's allowed to handle the groceries for you. These terms of use are for your use of the Spark app in the U.S. You will not engage in any Spark app outside of the United States for the purpose of completing ID verification, turning on, you know, ability to receive special offers or attempting to accept or complete service office offers. And, you know, I find that really interesting that they're talking about you have to be in the United States. So that kind of gives you a clue about some of the shenanigans that are probably going on with Walmart Spark. So continuing on, Walmart does not provide delivery services or permissive services. Independent contractors offer services through the Spark app. Walmart offers the information and the method for independent contractors to identify business opportunities through the app, but does not and does not intend to provide services and has no responsibility or liability for any independent contractor that uses the app. So if for some reason something happens, you're not working for Walmart Spark, you have a car accident, that's on you, guy. Uh, sorry. So continuing on. And now we're going to go through some of the hurdles and things that I think can be snafus for us as drivers or you as a delivery driver for Spark. So customer delivery instructions, notes, and preferences. You agree to follow the receiving party's delivery instructions, notes, or preferences as indicated in the Walmart Spark app, as long as their notes are reasonable, safe, and do not conduct conflict with any applicable laws, service level standards, or these terms of use. So 
customer directions. And if you've been a delivery driver for any time, you find out that people want you to bring the mountain to them. They will not go to the mountain. And uh, never ending. You know, if you're a driver, how many times have you received an order where they're like, well, bring it to my door, bring it to the back door, bring it through the gate, bring it here, bring it there. You know, UPS and Amazon deliver packages to the package drop-off area. That's where I deliver packages. I, uh, this is not DoorDash. I'm not delivering to your door. If you're in an apartment building, I deliver where your parcels get delivered. Now, if they don't like that, well then... <laughs> It could, it could be a situation where you have to decide whether you're going to carry all those groceries all the way up to those steps. But if the UPS guy isn't required to do it and the Amazon delivery driver isn't required to do it, why should you be required to do it? So continuing on, monitoring by Walmart. Walmart will have the right, but not the obligation, in our sole discretion to monitor, evaluate, and analyze content at any use or access to the app, including to determine compliance with the terms of use and other operating rules that may be established by Walmart from time to time. Walmart will have the right, but not the obligation, in our sole discretion to edit, move, delete, or refuse to make any available content made available through the app for any reason including violations of the terms of use, whether for legal or even any other reasons. Despite the rights of ours, you are solely responsible for the content that you make available and you agree for all claims resulting from your content you made available. So if you are posting something about a customer, you're deciding you want to be TikTok famous and you're going to post something Walmart could if they wanted to. All right. So next, identification verification. And this is this is what we've been asking for for several months now. You agree to show your unexpired valid driver's license issued by the state of the United States showing your name, photo upon request by a Walmart associate or other retail associate to verify your identity, paper licenses, pictures, digital copies, or photos of licenses or documents may be inefficient, insufficient to meet these legal level standards. You agree to show an unex unexpired U.S. government issued valid ID card with your name and photo and everything. So no paper copies, no nothing else. They, they will flip the script on you in a heartbeat and say, nope can't get the delivery and then you know so i mean everybody has an id right you don't need one to vote but you need one to shop for walmart spark customer service so you agree to conduct your interactions with receiving parties and individuals you engage with during the course of your providing services or otherwise providing in a professional manner so what's this say he says you agree you will not make rude comments or profanity you will not ask for tips. You will not request receiving parties' contact information, i.e., hey, girl, let me get your number. <laughs> you will not advertise a business or service unrelated to the delivery service or permissive services you are providing. So, no, hey, you know what? If you want, I'll, I'll just, you could just order your groceries and I'll go pick it up for you for 20 bucks and you won't have to worry about tipping. I'll just go pick it up from the Walmart for you. Can't do anything like that. Uh, you cannot uh, solicit any political or unsolicited political, religious comments or, you know, no spark drivers for Biden. Uh, and all of this could be affected by customers and your customer rating. So we are going on. So... These are just the common sense ones, but these are the things that I see drivers get whammied on a lot. It says vehicle standards. Vehicles used for services must be clean, smoke-free, have capacity to hold the selected 
delivery order size and the capacity to keep deliveries offered orders contained separate from each other and free from contamination of pets, pet hair, smoke, and other contaminants. Walmart may refuse to provide orders to you if your vehicle does not meet these standards. And I know certain markets where people were whammied for this. They don't smoke, said you, your vehicle smelled like smoke. That's that's the reason why you were deactivated. And that is the underlying part of Walmart Spark is sometimes there's little mafias that work in the stores and their friends are delivering or whatever, or family members are delivering and they will sabotage drivers or say that there was a problem and they will get deactivated. And it's small town America, blah, blah, blah. So, and continuing on passengers. So this used to be a deal back like two years ago. Passengers, you agree you will not accept a rideshare passenger while services are being provided. So I guess you can't do Uber and Lyft while you're driving. You know, hey, you mind if I run in here and do a 30-piece shop real quick? <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. You won't have to tip. You agree that during the performance of your services, you will not have any passengers as a young child or children who should not be left unattended in the vehicle. Passengers are prohibited from assisting you with your services. Kids can't help with the bags. You are responsible for ensuring that any passenger that you choose to bring along does not disrupt your performance of services. Walmart may deactivate you if your passenger creates a distru disruption or engages in illegal activity while you are using the Spark app. So if you got your kid along with you, you're like, my kid can stay in the car. They're old enough. They're fine. And then you get to the Walmart store and your kid decides he wants a candy bar and starts throwing a fit. And you're like, don't make me come in that car and give you something to cry about. Because <laughs> now they are disrupting your delivery and you could be deactivated from Walmart Spark. I don't think my dad would have been a very good Walmart Spark driver. All right, and continuing on, your use of the Spark app. Your use of the Spark app limited to you and only you. You agree to log into the Spark app yourself, your own username and password. And you know what, guys? Uh, you got your username and password, but sometimes jumping between phones, that can cause issues too because the Walmart app looks like you're spoofing the app or whatnot. So make sure whatever... Uh, app you set your account up with uh, that that phone try to use that phone during the delivery as well so physically logging into the spark app yourself and not to use any bots or any form of technology to log into the spark app so bots are real guys i told you that like two years ago you could look back before everybody else started jumping on the bot bandwagon Safeguards your Spark app login, username and password, and do not share, loan, lend, or otherwise make available, intentionally or unintentionally, your username and password to anyone. Which I heard of someone else that got their account hacked, so who knows how that happened. Comply if Walmart adds additional forms or account credentials, authentication factors. Should Walmart do so? You agree to additional safeguards and additional credentials as required. Report concerns of unauthorized use of your Spark account within 24 hours of discovery by calling the Spark driver hotline at 855-743-0457. Allow no other person to log into your account other than you. Perform all services yourself. Do not use or attempt to use anyone else's spark app account not then do not allow anyone else to perform any uh, services other than you and no one posing as you so if you got a twin brother don't let him go out there and make deliveries for you driver mike and here we go so I, just the funnies of everything that's kind of going on with Walmart Spark right now. But I read this one just tonight 
and it's on Reddit. And if you're not in Reddit, you need to get in Reddit because that's where it's at. So today was the first call from the next customer questioning my route. I had a triple order this morning. And right after the first drop, I get a call from a number I don't recognize with no caller ID. So I send it to voicemail thinking it's a spammer. Get started driving, listening to the voicemail, and it's the next customer saying that I made a wrong turn. Apparently, there's a new feature in the app which allows them to troll our route. I texted the elderly lady to inform her I had another drop prior to her, which required me to drive a certain way away from her path from her house. And while I was delivering, she, she's like, I had some Cokes too. I'm like, yeah, they, they're in the car, but I have to, but I have only so many hands to carry. <laughs> so, you know, he, there you go. Unhappy customer, right? Guys, I hope that you found this a little entertaining. Walmart Spark has, it's a good gig. At least the, the theory behind it is a good gig. But the problem is it's built on the success of having good Walmart Spark deliveries are good customers. And like all these apps, the customers get exploited by bad drivers. And after you get some bad deliveries, well, then you don't tip so much anymore. And that's the downfall of Walmart, Walmart Spark. And I know the CEO of Walmart came out in, I want to say it was probably October, gave an interview to CNBC, I think. And he was saying, you know, they want to get more of their associates out driving. They, they want to kind of wean themselves off the, the gig app economy and we'll see if they could do it you know the cost saved by us drivers so driving the wheels off our own car for that money will always outweigh anything that they can do on their own so hopefully you guys get some value out of this make sure you like subscribe and we'll hit you on the next one good night